So I got a call from a customer um, saying that their heat wasn't working properly. Um, they said it was, you know, set, set on 72 degrees. It was 67 degrees in their house this morning. Uh, the system was just not keeping up. Of course, they think it's low on refrigerant, but uh, we've never had any issues there before with uh, refrigerant issues. So we'll get over there and check it out and, and see what's going on with it and get them fixed up. All right, so we've already turned the power off. Uh, both both these sequencers, neither one of these sequencers are working. They're both getting 24 volts to the coil, to the control side, but they're not closing. So both these sequencers are gonna have to be replaced. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna replace that with a Q105. It's essentially the same thing. It's just all built into one. Um, and if any of you guys hunt, keep those right there. Put those in your packs. That's good for drying stuff out. Um, but that's what we're going to replace it with. And we'll get started on it. Again, make sure the power is off. That's gonna, this right here is our 24 volt coil side. We got common and a hot. We'll just reconnect those back. All right, this right here is gonna be our fan control. In case you were to put it in emergency heat, um, the, the thermostat, is not, thermostat is not going to tell the fan to come on. So when this closes, that would actually tell the fan to come on. Those are gonna go right here on the top. This right here is 5kW of the electric heat. Of course you got this side right here is feeding the heat kit. This is coming from the power source. So one there, one there. And then this is your other 5kW of heat. Of course from the power source. Cut this zip tie off. From your power source, right there there now we won't connect anything here or here because this is this is your low voltage side which is connected right here with these little jumpers that's how come we've got these two extra wires left over right here so now we'll turn the power back on and check it out check make sure we got 24 volts here Yep, we do. And that matter of fact, there it goes. It just kicked on. The first 5kW and the blower. And we'll wait for the other 5kW. There she goes. So now that confirms all 10kW vogs of their heat are running. And we want to confirm that it's going to shut off as well. I've just got it jumped out right here. So we'll confirm that it shuts off. It'll take it a minute. There goes five of it. And there everything shuts down. So what it's going to do, the first thing it's going to do is kick on the, the blower, or the first the first stage of heat and then the blower. 
and then it's going to kick on the other stage of heat and it does that that way it allows it a second to to heat up before it starts blowing cold air and then also then it doesn't reverse to let it get any residual heat off the heat kit before it before it shuts down so you're not wasting energy So I got over here and uh, checked the unit out. The refrigerant charge was absolutely fine. What we found the problem to be was the auxiliary heat sequencers uh, were not were not working properly. Uh, they were getting voltage to them, but not closing. Therefore, the heat wasn't the auxiliary heat wasn't kicking on. Uh, replaced the two single sequencers with one. Q105 sequencer, uh, got it all wired up, tested out, everything's working fine now. Customer's happy and we're on to the next job.